So Ami Ami raised their shipping prices last month. I think that's something we should talk about. Hey everybody and welcome back to Droob's Vids and another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Ami Ami a little bit here because last month they raised their shipping prices, especially here in the US slash Canada, you know, Northern America, but they raised prices across the board as far as I could tell. So shout out to E or Nerdy Broke Asian over on Instagram for getting this information to me. I missed it. You know, I was not really ordering figures, but yeah, she got me this information. So I really appreciate that. One more shout out to Bella Books Comics and Toys, a local shop to me. If you guys are in the area, check them out. They are at the Antique Mall on Bonnie Road in Virginia Beach. So shout out to Matt and Blair. They're the owners. Fantastic couple. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this today. And actually, right before we start, this is going to be a little bit of a talking head video. There's only really one visual aid. So if you guys want to minimize it, go have a cup of coffee, something, just play me in the background. But yeah, it's not going to be so much as far as visual aids go. So speaking of the visual aids, this is the one I got for you. I put it up here on the screen and I will also read it to you. So that way you don't got to look down at your phone or whatever you're watching this on. But so at the end of November or towards the end of November this year, they put out a little kind of statement there on their website and I'll read it to you now. It says, dear customers, starting November 25th, the price for DHL shipping will increase. Most customers should see an increase between two to 15% depending on the country and size of the package, right? Because the the amount that you order from them will change your shipping price. Okay, so for North America, United States slash Canada, the average increase is approximately 17% more than the previous prices. So I understand what's happening here in terms of shipping. So AmiAmi, first of all, fantastic website. One of my favorite websites. I really enjoy using AmiAmi. To get figures and you know they they ship them directly from japan to here in the u.s and you know it's they're usually here three or four days after all the payments clear and that's really quick via dhl considering some companies here based in the u.s take longer to get me a figure or just takes longer in general for everybody to get the figure which I'm not complaining about, you know, due to certain things happening. And I made a video last year about some stuff in terms of that. And I think I'm going to revisit that eventually, but there's somebody's, okay. There's a, a car thing in the background. So anyways, I mean, I mean, fantastic website, really like using it and they're raising their prices here for North America slash Canada. 17% for shipping approximately. So there's no plus or minus in that number, right? So 17%, I don't know if it could be more, could be less. They're not saying. So as an example, we'll just use the 17% here. And generally when I order a figure or my order from Ami Ami ends up being around $30 for shipping, right? So usually like 35, 36, something around there, 30 to 35. So we'll just say that. And we'll, we'll use 30 as a, a baseline because that's a nice even number there, right? 30 bucks. So with the 17% increase, you're going to be looking at an extra $5.10 thanks to the power of Google and math. I was able to get that figure for you. So normally what would be 30 bucks, right? As in our example, is going to be $35.10 now. So that's something I think needs to be kept in mind if you're ordering off of AmiAmi Ami now is that extra price increase. Now, if you've ordered recently from AmiAmi, Ami, let me know down in the comments below what your experience was, if your shipping price was actually more than it normally is, if you are normally ordering from AmiAmi. Ami. So I think it's something that I should definitely test out here starting next year. I will probably order something off of them and see just how much our price increase is going to be across the board and 
with that, there might be, I don't know, some options to look at because, you know, for a lot of people that 17% increase could make or break, you know, buying that actual figure because a lot of people that do buy figures are on a budget. You know, you got other bills to pay and things like that. So, you know, mouths to feed, whatnot. But, you know, that extra $5 could go a long way somewhere else instead of being used on shipping. And like I said, I understand why they're raising their prices. You know, I'm sure it's because of all the shipping issues, you know, coming from overseas that we've been having here in the U.S. lately. But as far as I remember, I mean, I mean, I never had issues with them shipping the figures to me. So with that being said, I don't know. I'm just really curious as to how much more this is going to affect I don't, I, want, I don't really want to say their sales, but how much it would affect, you know, people like me that budget out for figures because I do include shipping, especially if I'm getting it from AmiAmi. Ami. So I generally kind of estimate myself a little bit more in terms of that. So now I'd probably be estimating, you know, 20% versus 17% just to keep myself safe. So that way... I'm not shocked at the price, you know, the final price for shipping because if you guys didn't know on AmiAmi, Ami, when you put your order in, they send you an email back with, you know, the, the final kind of total there and, and that's when you pay. So, and that'll have all the shipping calculations and whatnot in it. So I, I generally add a little bit more than is needed in my estimate when I order figures from AmiAmi. Ami, just so I'm not surprised when I see that total figure in that email when I have to pay. So I think that's something people should start doing probably. Just so, like I said, so you're not surprised when you get that total amount for the actual shipment. So yeah, 70%, that's quite a bit. But like I said, due to recent events and all that, it's going to happen. So I'm surprised it actually took this long for it to happen, to be honest with you. And I know I'm a little bit late on this information because it came out at the end of November, but I still felt like it was something that needed to be talked about, especially, you know, coming from me because I do order from AmiAmi Ami and I do have myself on a budget for my figures, which I will be making a video about here in the near future for you guys. And just in general on kind of how to budget your, your stuff out because you, know, you got bills to pay. So where do you get, you know, that money that sh if you want that figure, where do you get that from? Right. Just a few simple, I guess, kind of tips and tricks on that. But yeah, just really curious as to what some of you out there think in terms of the shipping price increase. Now, is this something that's going to make or break your final purchase through AmiAmi Ami now that extra 17%? I don't know, I haven't looked to see if, you know, a bunch of people have been kind of just not ordering from Ami Ami anymore or anything like that. But yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the whole situation in terms of the shipping increase. Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? You know, is it going to put you off from ordering from Ami Ami? Which, like I said, I really like ordering from their website. It's really easy to order from and find your figures, right? Because you could just type in a name or type in an anime and you'll know, pull up what they have or even what they did have in the past. So it's just really cool. I enjoy that website a lot. And I don't think it's going to deter me, myself, from ordering, from not ordering from them. I believe I'll probably still put orders in through AmiAmi Ami, depending on several factors here if I could find it on a website in the US at the price that I'm looking for so that that's the thing too because you'll see on AmiAmi Ami that the prices for figures tend to be a little bit different than what you see here in the US so and by different I mean lower so the actual figure price is going to be lower but then you have to you know look at the shipping cost and see if that makes sense versus getting it 
from somewhere here with their shipping cost or lack of shipping costs if they got free shipping going on. So that's just something, you know, multiple factors you got to look at in terms of, you know, where you're going to buy and, you know, what you're going to buy. So it's kind of things like that. Like I, I tend to compare multiple websites before I pull the trigger on a figure. So that's just kind of what I do. I think a lot of you out there do that as well. You know, price comparison, especially if you're, you know, like I said, budgeting out yourself to buy figures. So yeah, definitely curious as to your guys thoughts out there, like I said, and definitely let me know what you think. Yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video here. Didn't mean to really drag it out. But if you guys made it to this portion of the video, I appreciate you guys very much. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video.